Welcome to the show. Our Drover women are off to a great 4-0 start with a couple more non-conference games left before we open conference play on September 27th. We've got a three-year starter on the show to talk about the season. This is In the Saddle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Today we have Jordan Yates, a junior with our USAO women's soccer team with us. Thanks for being on the show, Jordan. Thank you for having me. So the girls have been started off to a great season, 4-0 right now, undefeated. So tell me about how what's been happening this year. We're doing really good. We're clicking really well as a team and um, we have a lot of girls playing new positions and um, we're just adjusting really well and everyone's being really positive with everybody and we're just, we're doing really great. Good. And you had your first um, goal of the season was a game winner in overtime against Texas yeah. Wesleyan at home. So tell me about that. How was that? It was so exciting. I couldn't, I'm so glad I got to do that. But um, I saw Taylor going down the line and um, she's really good about beating people and crossing great balls in. And so I was trying to get in the right spot and I was lucky to, to be there for her awesome ball. Well, it was a, a great goal. And if I remember correctly, the whole team Mm -hmm. came over and everybody was really excited it was really good um, and that was has been our closest game mm -hmm. obviously with an overtime um, and it was a great win for the girls yeah it was tell me about what your personal goals for the season are well um, we're off to a really good start and I think we're gonna be able to keep it up um, we have some tough games coming up but I think we're ready for them and I think we'll be able to go really far this year and that's our goal is to make it as far as we can you're from Texas so how did you find your way to USAO um, Dave Kunitz um, was a player here, played for Hampton, and he was a coach for the club that I played for in Dallas, and um, he told Aaron, Kogan, and I to look at this school, and um, so we came up for a visit, and we liked the coaches, the campus, the girls on the team, and it just seemed like a really good fit for us. Okay. Well, it's great. We're glad to have you. You know, obviously for the last three years, you've, I think, started in just about every game, for the, you know, since you were a freshman, so... Definitely happy to have you. Yeah, I'm really glad to be here. So you're from um, Midlothian, Texas, and um, apparently they've had quite a population boom mm -hmm. of like 140% in the last 10 years or something. Yeah. So what's going on there? Well, um, pretty much it was just like land everywhere, <clears throat> and um, they started building houses, and it's a, it's a little town, so I think people kind of like that idea, and um, it's a really great school system, and um, people just started coming, and Lots of houses have um, land, so you get a house plus an acre, a couple acres, and it's, so it's really, it's really nice out there. Okay. And you said you're, you know, three, four hours from home. Yeah. Do your parents get to check out your games very often? Yeah, they've, um, they've come a lot this year, and they plan on coming to most of the home games and um, even some, like, closer games around this area in Oklahoma. So tell me about some of your hobbies besides soccer. You probably don't have a lot of time in, in the season to have yeah. hobbies, but... Uh, well, I love to read. I like to read Nicholas Sparks books and um, Stuart Woods, he's like a mystery author and um, when it's summer I love to be out at the pool and um, my family, I love to be around my family. So, okay. Do you go home in the summer or do you stay over um, Well, I have gone home every summer but this summer I'll be staying up here. So. Um, and you're an elementary education junior, so what are you wanting to do when you graduate? Um, I want to go home to, back to Texas, and uh, my goal is to teach like preschool, kindergarten, the first grade um, age range. And what kind of draws you to that? Uh, well, my older sister is a teacher, and when we were younger, she would um, take us back every day and play school with us, and it just seemed really fun when she was a teacher, so I thought I'd like to do that. Well, great. Um, we look forward to a really great season. We're hoping for the best for the girls, and you know, congratulations so far. Thank you. Have a good nice. season. And now it's time for Fan of the Week.
Each week we pick our fan of the week who wins an awesome t-shirt and is recognized on our show and on Facebook. Last week's fan was soccer parent Les Andrews. Again, congratulations to you. And this week's fan of the week is Judy Jackson. Congratulations, Judy. Well, that's our show. We'll see you out here at Drover Pitch on September 27th for some great Senior Athletic Conference ball. And of course, next time on In the Saddle. You got to get